whisper something happy in my ear. same side I don't want to limit myself and <laughs> turn into some kind of a statue because the idea behind these sessions and everything that I do is for you to just relax and be at one with yourself without editing or without telling yourself off that you should sit in a particular way or lie down in a particular way. There are no shoulds. There are no shouldn'ts. Apart from one. And that is you shouldn't listen to this or watch this if you're watching on YouTube unless you can safely close your eyes. That's the only rule. And just prepare to feel sleepy. And basically, you can kind of prepare yourself before you decide to listen to me. And of course, you can press the pause button at any time. So, if there's something off before continuing to listen to my voice and drift into a nice, comfortable, healing, safe sleep, then maybe do that first. For example, if you're in the middle of uh, doing some pottery and you're making a nice big vase or vase out of clay then maybe you know you want to maybe stop this recording or put it onto pause and finish making that vase or vase first otherwise that vase may end up looking like an ashtray might become a bit flat. It reminds me of a time when I did a bit of uh, pottery at school. And I thought it always looked quite easy. Providing the wheel went round fast enough and there was enough water and everything should be fairly smooth but I ended up covering all of my classmates and the teachers in clay because mine just splattered everywhere I think I had the wheel spinning too fast because it's one of those pedal wheels that you do yourself you know you push on it like 
like a kind of like a bicycle pedal, but I suppose more of a pump than a bicycle pedal. So yeah. Anyway, we're not here to talk about pottery, although I'd quite like to give it another go. I've got a lot of admiration for. Anything really that's creative, whether it's pottery, needlework, writing poems, singing, acting, dancing, painting, just the uh, the act of creativity. It's an amazing human gift that we all have. And just that sometimes it's a case of finding what yours is. Mine seems to be verbally just talking. Just talking about stuff. say that I just talk rubbish and that's my skill, that's my superpower, just talking rubbish but other people say well we can all just talk rubbish so maybe there's a little bit more to it with me I always wanted to be a tap dancer not professionally but I like the idea of tap dancing because I used to watch the old Fred Astaire movies you know, when I was a kid and they, they weren't new at the time I'm not, I'm not in my 90s uh, but I used to watch them on television Heard Andre in the background. Making some strange noises. I think he's just sometimes he changes his position to get more comfortable. Sometimes he seems to sleep talk as well, which is a bit weird, considering he's a ferret and he can't really talk, well, not in my language, but we do communicate quite well. He lets me know what he wants. For example, when we're walking, I take him for a walk. He lets me know when he wants me to pick him up because he just puts his two front feet uh, up against my leg, which means he wants me to carry him. So that's quite, I quite like that connection. I can, you know, able to communicate with him on that silent level. So, if you are ready and you 
that sense of deep relaxation and sleepiness and allows you to just let go of everything allowing you to just notice each muscle in your body feeling even more relaxed of your body is falling asleep which then causes the next muscle next to it to also fall asleep as if you know the back of your neck can feel really and sleepy which causes your shoulders to then also be triggered into that sense of sleepiness and deep safe relaxation which then triggers your arms into feeling and experiencing that sense of safe that feeling of relaxation and, and sleepiness moves down your arms into your wrists and then into your hands and because your hands are such an important part of your body as are your feet when you relax the fingers of your hands the rest of your body naturally relaxes even deeper and it's as if there's some kind of connection between your hands and your fingers and your mind because as your hands relax your mind also becomes even more safely relaxed and tired and tired in a way that feels really relaxing a sense of just letting go without just allowing those natural feelings of deep, safe, relaxing tiredness to spread throughout your body and mind naturally and easily and effortlessly Sometimes it may even seem as if my voice is somehow moving a bit further away. 
yourself more each day. Accept yourself more each day. Because you deserve to be happy. You deserve so many great things during your life and you've helped so many people throughout your life more than you will ever know Salam.